Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Balram Prasad. I am working with Microsoft as a senior software engineer. In today's demo, we are going to see how we can deploy a website using sample provided inside Azure OpenAI Studio. And now OpenAI Studio is also branding has been changed, uh, kind of the whole portal has changed at the Azure AI Foundry services with some additional feature. We will see that later. So if you have seen our earlier videos, then we have already deployment in other thing done for GPT models. Now in this demo, let's go ahead and add a data source. And the data source will be Azure AI search and the subscription which we have as a Visual Studio Enterprise subscription and search service in Australia East, we have this. Let me select the vector index and I will add a vector search to this search resources with that text embedding model. So I will do that. And I will use hybrid plus semantic search and semantic configuration. I will use vector. And how this configuration and other things has been created inside Azure AI search, you can see our previous video that will give that step by step guide to create that. Now let's go to next. And for this demo, I'm going to use API key. We have to always use system managed identity if we are trying to build any system or deploying into prod and other things because that is the secure. For demo, we are going to use this API key. Now let me save and close. Now if you see our data settings has been came. Let me ask something over here in chat. And if you go and see that what data we have set into our Azure AI search. It is a fictitious company called Contoso. So it is electronics company, uh, which generally we use for demo purpose. Let me ask a few more things about, tell me about one. So it is going to give that health plan for that company, which is offered to its employee. Now I'm going to try to deploy with deploy option provided in this UI. And in deploy, we, when we go, we have three options as a web app, JNT map and copilot. I will go with web app and I will go ahead and create a new web app. So let me put some name. And I'm going to select my subscription. Then I'm going to select my resource group, which generally I'm using for this demo. And then we have location as Australia is, and we have to select a pricing tier. So let's go ahead and select a basic one. And do we want to enable the chat history and web app? If we say yes, then it is going to deploy a Cosmos DB where that all the history will be saved. So let's enable that. It will take some time. So let's click on the deploy. And our web app will be in configured with intra ID authentication. So it will be taking some time. So now it is going to deploy. If you see this one, it is going to take some time. So, and we can go and see in deployment also what is it is being deployed. So app deployment, we can go ahead and see it is going to come here in some time. And now we can see that it is coming here. So let's wait for some time and then we can see how it looks like. So after some time, you can see your deployment should be succeeded or failed depending upon maybe if the, there is the same name of web app it exists, then it might fail or some other things. So you can re-trigger with changing your name and other things. Same I did for that one. And if we go into our portal and see that uh, there will be with it, name there will be web app and cosmos db and other things deployed so let's go ahead and see that so if we go into our rg and we can see that there is a chat application first we try to deploy this one but it failed for deployment in between so i deployed this part and this is working now so if you see so we can browse right now 
and uh, generally because i am browsing second time it is not asking me for my authentication before we try out that we can see that this is the external repository from where it is pulling and deploying this web app so you can go and see that if you wanted to see that or how that uh, code looks like so all this code is into public repo for example, all this is being pulled from that and uh, we can go and see that what the front end is, uh, code is there into which component and other things. So it is all into React and TypeScript and backend component will be into Python. So if you see that, so runtime stack is Python. So backend in Python and front end React plus TypeScript. And then code, uh, our uh, web app history will be saved inside Cosmos DB. So that's what all about uh, with this. So we can see that conversation is going to save here in conversation history. Now we can go and start asking about that one. So let's see that. Same question I'm going to ask. So same question I'm asking because we have same data and same backend in Azure AI search which we are using. So you can see that it is coming, right? Now if I refresh this one, as we said that it is going to save, we can go into so chat history and we can see that, okay, what it is, right? We can edit that one to give a proper naming to save so that you can find that one. So this is how it basics look like that, how chat GPT UI could be and how internally uh, they have backend and other things. Uh, it is just a sample of that thing, right? So you can leverage that. And if you wanted to customize that one, you can download this uh, source code and you can try to customize it based on your need or remove some pages, add some pages or add some functionality. And you can build your own application using this one. So this is what I wanted to show you in this demo. From next demo, we are going to see how we can create with Azure AI Foundry and uh, Foundry service is new. So we are going to see that what, how to use that one and a few more things which we are going to see like if you are into AI world, you might have heard about hugging face and Ola Lama and other things. So we are going to see that also. So this is what I wanted to show you in this video. I hope you guys have liked this uh, video. And if you have liked this video, then please uh, share and subscribe. And also a humble request if you can share this channel and shout out to your LinkedIn and other things, that will be great because then there are more people will come and see that videos, right? Thank you.